Hey y'all, welcome to my channel, Katie's Craft Corner. I am Katie, aka Kimberly. Um, in this video, we are going to be doing an unboxing from Diamond Art Club. This is a new release, of course, not a sneak peek. I'm not able to get sneak peeks. I wish to goodness I was. I would give anything in the world to be able to bring you sneak peeks, uh, but I'm not. I'm not one of those people. Anyway, I am still a Diamond Art Club lover. And in this video, I am going to be showing you one that was just released at the time of this uh, video. It was just released this past Sunday. I got this in the mail yesterday, but this is the first chance I have had to do the video on it. And I actually got two of them from last Sunday. Uh, but I'm not going to film them together because I realize I am doing a lot of rambling and I am having very long videos. And I am trying to shorten them up a little bit. So I am going to do this unboxing and then I'm going to do the other one in an unboxing. And I'm probably going to release them one like tomorrow and then the other one on Sunday or Monday. And tomorrow is Saturday. Um, tonight is Friday, of course. Anyway, this one is Call of the Wild. And this one is the Wolf Howling at the Moon, which is like the best thing ever. I absolutely adore wolves uh, that's one of my favorite animals other than cats and dogs of course uh, but as far as wild animals wolves are one of my favorites i would just love to if i could have a wolf uh, raise it from a baby but anyway this is a square with a b's it is 22 by 28 inches or 56 by 71 centimeters anyway let's get it open let's pull out our little exacto knife and go ahead and score it down to get it open. And then safety first, pair a little diamond. I will back the knife back up. Get the plastic off. Throw that away. This is a very wide box. This is their new style of box. I'm sure you've seen I'm just copy and retro ray and other people do it. Uh, but they now have, uh, when it's a square painting, you have this square in a dark purple. Um, it's kind of holographic. Um, you can move it and see all kinds of colors reflecting in it, like pinks and purples and blues. And, of course, it says square diamonds on it. Um, in fact, both of the ones that I got are actually square this uh, this week. Uh, there is one coming out tomorrow. There's four coming out tomorrow that I want all four of them, but I cannot afford to get all four. I'm probably only going to be able to get one of them, and it is a round. And a round will come with a circle around where it says DIY Diamond Art Kit. And I think it's actually a different color. And this is actually a sticker on the box. And so is this. Both of these are stickers on the box. And I think, well, they used to put a sticker at the end, I think, but it doesn't look like we still do. And then on the back, this has changed a little bit um, in there, how it works. And then, of course, they have the kit contents, and it is in several different languages. And it has little comments, which is kind of like comments that... Um, you might see people making jaw-dropping artwork that you can do from home, uh, have some time to yourself and leave the day's worries behind, create gorgeous artwork that you can frame in your home, makes a great gift for your friends, family, and loved ones. It's kind of like comments that you might see people make about diamond painting. And of course, it gives the warnings of a choking hazard. Um, not sure what high purity means, but high definition and protected. Anyway, let's get this thing open. Uh, this one actually looks like it has a, I think I have seen different pictures at the top of the boxes. Um, this one has a tiger, but I think I saw somebody opening one that had a different picture at the top. Um, but I won't guarantee it. In fact, that kind of looks almost like Galaxy Tiger. And of course, this is wrapped the new way with the painting facing outward, which does make it a lot easier. Oops, sorry about that. Shook the whole table. That was my my light over here is actually attached to a power bank. And that was my power bank sliding off my leg. For some reason, I had it sitting on my leg like a very bright and smart human being. 
Let me see if I can plug my light back in because I do not want the light to cut off. And it is a battery, like a rechargeable light, and it was almost dead when I started up. But both of my lights that I use are rechargeable. Now, the last one that I opened up and filmed just a short while ago actually wasn't sealed. It was just stuck down in the end. This one is sealed. I kind of hate that they seal them because that is some tough glue, and it sometimes needs to tear the bag. And also getting it, in fact, that one did tear the bag. Getting it back in also makes it a little bit hard when you got that glue you got to contend with on the end of the bag. And I do like to put them back in the bag and everything. And like all new ones, they have given us some of the parchment paper. Now, the last one, the parchment paper, was a huge piece, and it was folded in half. Now, this is a huge diamond painting that I will not be able to show you the entire thing all at once because my table is just not that big. Anyway, excuse the crinkle. I have been rolling this stuff up and putting it in an empty diamond art club box and just, like, rolling it all together and sticking it in there. Anyway, there's the diamonds. Also, in here comes uh, the step-by-step -step instructions telling you what to do. And it also has a little 10% uh, off code that you can use um, as a thank you. Um, and like I mentioned in the last one, which probably will go up after this one, um, if you are military, first responder, anything like that, you can actually go to the Diamond Art Club website and down near the bottom, there's a little section of like about Diamond Art Club, their story and uh, facts and stuff like that. It tells you about the rewards and how to use Klarna, which is the pay later thing. But there's also a thing that says military and first responder discount. If you can get the military or first responder discount, um, like if you are the spouse of military or, or first responder or something like that, uh, spouse of someone who is retired military, active military, um, anything like that, you can get a 15% discount instead of just a 10. Now, something that I missed, I do not see the sticker. Did it stay down in the box? Yes, it's down in the box. Down near the bottom of the box. Let's see if I can get it out. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it was just a little bit crinkled. There is a sticker. And, of course, it says Call of the Wild, Diamond Shape, Square with AB, and the size, and then the Diamond Art Club SKU number. And then there's the schematic. This is a sticker. Um, if you use a paper logbook, I do not. I'm about to do a video on the, how I do a logbook done a video before but I actually found a new log book to use and I told the people I do a video on it so I really need to get it done I may do that this weekend um, so be on the lookout for that but if you use a paper like journal you can cut out the picture and all of this part and keep that in your journal showing what you did and then use this of course on um, you can cut it with an exacto knife and use this on your little containers when you kit up um, that comes in really handy. That's one of the great things I really like about Diamond Art Club is the fact that they provide that sticker. But here is the painting. There is our wolf and the moon. And it is so amazing. The stars and him howling. And it is absolutely stunning. And of course down here at the bottom you've got all of the um, information the uh lord i can't even think <laughs> my mind just went blank the social media information of course you've got a discount right here as well that comes on your diamond art club painting uh you also they also have on here proud of your masterpiece you use hashtag diamond art club to be featured on their social media accounts you have the name of the painting and the size and of course that this is a robin coney diamond art club painting uh, meaning that they have licensed this from Robin Coney, who is the creator of this image. There is her lifetime warranty on it as well. They guarantee their paintings to be uh, absolutely gorgeous. No problems, no flaws, no problems in the glue. If anything ever 
does happen, you can always contact Diamond Art Club and they will make it right. Um, there are, looks like only one AB on this one, which is number 125, which is not 141, which is the white. So this is probably a different color of white, I'm assuming. We will have to see when we pull out the little drills, but it will be number one. And number one is the stars all over in the sky. They're all around the wolf right here, all the little sparkles. Each one of these, it looks like a little white square and then single white squares. This is four white squares. Each one of these is a number one. There's four of them. But this is like the stars that are sparkling around him at night. Or the fireflies. Whatever may be sparkling around this wolf. Um, I don't see any ones on him. Like in his fur or anything. Yep, nothing. Wouldn't he be amazing if they had done all of this in glow in the dark. And he just glowed all the way around him. Wouldn't that be amazing? And then maybe around the edges of the moon. That would have been absolutely gorgeous since they've been doing some glow in the darks. Yeah, but that's where all of the ABs are going to go. Um, this is going to be an absolutely stunning painting. There's going to be some color blocking, but it's not going to be huge amounts of color blocking. But like there, this is mostly one color right here and then right here and over here. Press one color. He is very, um, except for like right in here, he is very like confetti. Um, but it's not bad confetti until you get like right here in the middle of him. Um, there is like sections of color blocking all around him and in the moon. Um, and then down here towards the bottom of him, there's sort of some color blocking in a way, um, especially down here in the very bottom. Uh, but he is more confetti, so it's kind of like the best of both worlds. You got confetti and color blocking in this one, which I am fine with either one. Um, but anyway, let's get a look at the drills. We will flip this over. I wish I could show you the entire painting all at once. The closest I can do actually is by putting it this way, and it still about knocks my light off the desk. That is the closest I do of showing you the entire diamond painting. Right there, it's turning it sideways, and I still can't show you everything, but you get a gist of it. Um, you could probably, Rachel Ray unbox this one. You can probably see the full thing on hers. Uh, she has a lot more room than I do. One of these days, I'm going to have me a craft room all to myself. Don't know when. It could be years from now, but one day. <laughs> There are craft rooms all over this house. Our sunroom is a craft room, and then the spare bedroom is a craft room, but all of it is my mother's. And yes, if you're new here, I do live at home. I had to give up everything I owned when I was fighting disability, so I had to move back home. But it turned out to be a good thing because my parents are both retired and on fixed incomes, and now I'm on a fixed income, so we're sort of like roommates. The only problem is my mother has taken over the entire house with her crafts. And my dad is actually diamond painting now. Get that? My dad started diamond painting. He asked me for a diamond painting one day, and he has been working on it. It's a tiger. And he's slow. Very, very slow. But he's enjoying it so far. And I'm very proud of him. And who knows? Maybe one day I'll have him on the video with me. But anyway... I'm going to pull these out so that we can go ahead and have a look at them. And let's start with the smaller ones. Um, let's get you a little bit closer. I keep forgetting to do that. This is 3731. These are some pinks right here. Kind of fuchsia, 917. Uh, 938 of brown. Here comes some purples, 208, 550. Another brown, 3371. A lavender, 210. There are three tens right there. Very small bag. Um, does that mean that there are no big three tens? It might be all navies in the sky instead of three tens. But that's a small bag. 
3756, that is like a off-white. There is our ABs. These are white AB. If you are new and do not know what AB means, that is the coating on the diamond. The pinkish blue purple iridescent coloring that you see on that diamond, which if you look at the one beside it, it does not have it. So look at those two together. You can see the difference. So that coating right there is called an Aurora Borealis coating, aka Northern Lights. It is meant to mimic the northern lights, and all it really does to your painting is add a bit extra sparkle and dimension to the painting. It makes it even more special. Then here are some more purples, 155. This is one of the reasons I love this painting. It's purple and blue heavy, which is some of my favorite colors. My favorite colors are teal and dark purple, but I love all purples, blues, and greens. 3746. 333, that's one of my most favorite purples, 333. It's not a dark purple, but it's one of my most favorite purples. 211, a beautiful lavender. Now here are some blues, 3755, another bag of 3755. 796, 796, 799, and 799. Now get this unfolded back up the way that it was which was at the ABs. And then we got this little section that is by itself. These are three bags of 798 and then a bag of 3865, which is a cream-like color. And then we got the big bag of blues mostly, except for these two bags of mints, everything else is blue. So you got two bags of 775, which is a beautiful mint. Then we got 3325, two bags of it. 334, 797, two bags. And then we've got 936, or excuse me, 336, one, two, three, Four bags, 823, one, two, three, four, five bags, and then 820, three bags. And that is it for these. Now let's see, this one was somewhere in the middle of the three, three, sixes folded up. I think that's it right there. And we go, if it goes this way. You will see me doing that. Uh, this helps me to get it folded back up. If you try to remember where it was folded at on the, like when it's folded in half, then you can usually lay them back down together in the same direction and you can get an idea of how it was folded up and put in the bag. And I think that might have been how it was folded up right there. I'll see if I can get it back in the bag, and then I'll be able to throw it back in the box and set it aside where the rest of my diamond paintings are. Anyway, that is the end of this video. I've got one more to record, which is another new release from the same weekend. I am doing them separately so that I can spend a little bit less time on videos. I'm hoping to have my videos down to about 20 minutes, maybe. Uh, anyway, if you enjoyed what you saw, give me a thumbs up. If you did not like it, give me a thumbs down. Let me bring you back out. There we go. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you did not like it, give me a thumbs down. But let me know down below why you are giving me the thumbs down. Give me some constructive criticism and tell me what you'd like to see. What I missed. What you think I should have done. Whatever. Just let me know. Um, let me know what you did like. Uh, let me know what you would like to see in the future. Um, I enjoy doing these. I love sharing my love of diamond painting with you. I've got plans for a Whipham chat coming up really soon that I hope to get done. Uh, I really, really hope to get done because it's going to be like an all about me Whipham chat. If you have any questions you want to ask, post them down below or send them to me on Instagram under Katie's Craft Corner. Um, you can follow me there as well. I try to post there. I'm having a hard time doing it like I used to, but I try to post there as often as possible. 
Sometimes it's not always about diamond painting. Sometimes it's about my life or something I've cooked. You never know what I might post there. But anyway, uh, send me a DM. Let me know what you want to give me questions of what you want to know about me. Um, yeah, uh, subscribe. Hit the little bell to let you know when I upload. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.